Welcome. The two worst things that we could ever do is sleeping on your stomach and cracking your neck. Now those are the things that any good doctor would tell you not to do. Let's talk about sleeping on your stomach. When you sleep on your stomach, you have to turn your head 45 degrees to one side. Sleeping on your stomach, head goes to the right, or head goes to the left. I want you to try something right now. I'd like you to turn your head all the way to the left, or right, and I'd like you to walk around your house for three minutes like that. And you'll notice after about a minute, the muscles are gonna to start to ache, maybe even spasm. You may even get some pain traveling to a different part of your body because your body doesn't like being in that position. That's only one minute being in that position. You may also start noticing you become off balance. You start maybe walking into things that you shouldn't be walking into. So obviously, you're gonna get out of that position awful quick. Now imagine spending six hours, seven, eight hours in that position and wondering why you're developing neck conditions, neck degeneration, herniations, pinched nerve, headaches, pain or tingling radiating into the chest between the shoulder blades or down the arm into the hand and fingers because of sleeping on your stomach. Correct sleeping should be on your back or side, pillow underneath the knees or between the knees, making sure your spine stays straight with the rest of the, with your head. In other words, your pillow shouldn't be too high or too low, just be in a neutral plane. If you're on your back, the pillow should not be too high at all and preferably something to support your neck region. Now let's talk about cracking your neck. First of all, I want you to understand how important this nervous system is. Brain's up here, the spine's inside the casing of the bones, the yellow nerves coming out, controlling different parts of your body, 31 pairs of nerves controlling all the organs, tissues, glands, muscles, bones. Everything going on is, controlling, is being controlled by these nerves. So if you are cracking your neck, what potentially harm can you do? Well, you have ligaments that hold the bones together, muscles and tendons that attach into the bones as well. You got nerves coming out between them. You got the spinal cord inside. You got vessels, arteries. You have many other important vital structures, the bottom part of the brain coming down to the second vertebrae. That should tell you something that that potentially can really affect the rest of your life if something goes wrong. I mean, think about when you stretch your neck. If you overforce the neck and you stretch it, what you, what you really have is you have ligaments that hold bones together. All the joints of your body have ligaments that hold the joints together. So you have multiples uh, different, of different kinds of ligaments that are holding those joints together. Imagine this being a ligament. And imagine you just pulling on that ligament and keep pulling and pulling and tugging that ligament eventually doesn't go right back to where it was before. That rubber band stays stretched. Now that it stays stretched, these joints here are not tight like they were. Now they're loose. And when they're loose, they become unsupportive and obviously the mechanics cannot function correctly. Areas start to compromise and compensate. That leads to future quick degeneration, leading to herniations and pinched nerves. The bottom line is this. Only professionals who are trained to manipulate or adjust a neck should be the ones to do so. Yes, manipulating a neck or cracking your neck or, or mobilizing your neck or having a friend do it or someone at the gym or an instructor or someone that you uh, know that may be a guru that's telling you that they're good at moving bones and they might be good at moving bones, but if they're not properly trained and they're not moving it in the right direction or doing the right line of drive, you can potentially be injured. So I hope this brought something home to you to be smart because you have one spine. And remember, all these vital areas, these vital organs, these vital tissues, just the spinal cord in itself, the bottom of the brainstem that you're potentially tugging and twisting. And all it takes is one mistake. And that mistake you cannot afford to have. Leave your messages below. I'm sure you'll have many. 
Please share this video, and if you have not subscribed, please do so, so you can continue to receive more of our self-help videos and educational videos. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.